Today, May 6, 2023, marks a very historic day for the United Kingdom as King Charles III was officially coronated in a traditional ceremony in the Westminster Abbey. Well, what many people don't realize is that there was a unique use of antique furniture, and let me tell you about it now. Edward's chair is used as it has been for the last 700 years, a new throne, the throne chair. Did you see that? Please tell me you saw that. Let me rewind it so you can see it again. A new throne, the throne chair. Yeah, the new chair that King Charles III was sitting on, the throne chair. Yeah, it's an antique. Now you're asking me, what do these chairs mean and where do they come from? So these two chairs on the screen, these are called the throne chairs. And essentially, these throne chairs were used during the ceremony that were originally created for the 1937 coronation of King George VI and his queen consort, Elizabeth, the queen mother. Now, these throne chairs originally were made by White, Alum, and company and were based on the 17th century style influenced by the X-frame Tudor stools. So the upholstery on these chairs are pretty unique, if I do have to say so myself. They are this deep, cool red velvet color, but on the back, just a little touch, is the arms of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. It's just really a really nice touch but really, really, really unique piece in these chairs. Now, before I go deeply into these random chairs and what they have to do with this video, let me first tell you more about King Charles III and describe his life and his upbringing. So King Charles III was born on November 14th, 1948 in Buckingham Palace. He is the eldest son of Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh. Now, he was educated essentially in a school in Scotland and then later attended the University of Cambridge. That's pretty impressive, where he earned a degree in archaeology and anthropology. I don't want to forget about that. So with his de degree, you can already see the ideation of preservation and historic significance that King Charles III may have. Now, let's pause and let me continue to tell you more about his upbringing. Throughout his life, King Charles III has been involved in numerous philanthropic and charitable causes. He is a passionate, passionate advocate for environmentalism and has been actively involved in numerous environmental initiatives for several decades. So much to the fact that he founded the Prince Trust in 1976, which has helped thousands and thousands of young people in the UK achieve their full potential. King Charles III has also been involved in promoting British design and craftsmanship. He has been the patron of the Royal College of Art since 1978 and supported many British artists and designers throughout his reign. In fact, the restoration of the chairs of the state for his upcoming coronation was carried out by the Royal Collection Trust, an organization that he established himself in 18, 1987. Now, what do these chairs have to do with anything? They're very beautiful, don't get me wrong, but they just seem like pretty chairs that have been used over and over and over again, right? Well, yeah, and you know what? I, I could totally agree with you, but I want you to understand that these two chairs were King Charles III's first choice. That means he had a list of chairs to choose from on probably one of the biggest days of his life. And he chose these random antique chairs that have been used over and over and over again. And the reason he chose these chairs is because he's super passionate about sustainability and saving the environment. Why create something when something is there that you can use? By only scratching the surface, we found out so much about King Charles's values. Number one, he has an archaeology background. That means he values history and uncovering unique pieces and saving these unique pieces. Number two, he's all about the environment. He loves to save the environment. And number three, he loves that British art. He's all about Britain. That's in him that runs deep through his veins. And he's done things to conserve British art throughout the future. So what does all that have to do with the chairs he's sitting in and, you know, what does that have to do with you and I? And before I tell you what it has to do about us, let me tell you more about these chairs. Some other details about these chairs, they took some time to make, but also they replicated the exact details of all these chairs that were seen in that original 1937 coronation. They used the same type of thread. They wove it in the same way that just shows the amount of detail that were put 
in these chairs for pretty much, I would say, arguably one of the most special days uh, for in a long time. Let's just say that. So I hope you understand the opportunity and how unique these two chairs were, especially in the grand scheme of sustainability and the British antique culture that King Charles III is trying to save and showcase. Not only did these chairs serve as a strong foundation to showcase British history regarding the coronation ceremonies, but also served as a foundation for sustainability efforts and to showcase the amazing British design of the past leading into the future. Now, with this in mind, I think British design is in good hands. And honestly, I think antique furniture is in great hands under the leadership of Charles III. Not only will he continue to back the efforts of the British art movement, but he'll do it in a way that truly saves the planet. And I think that's amazing. So antiques and a little bit of mid-century modern furniture is in good hands under King Charles III. And I really do appreciate it. But the fun doesn't end here. If you're interested in watching more videos about the conservation of really cool furniture, check this video out right here. I saved a piece of mid-century modern furniture that was headed to the dump. Not only did I save it, I preserved the historic value of it, and I also, you know, helped the earth out a little bit. I don't mean to brag, but like I said, unfortunately, this is the end of the video. If you could please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And like always, Peace.